rarely does the greatest stand alone, head and shoulders above all others. In almost every era, a rivalry will exist that pushes new limits, demands ever greater performances, and can even define a time. Sometimes those rivals will be fierce enemies, and sometimes the challenge will come from within a team, or even from a friend. In the UCI Track Champions League, two contests emerged that had a subtle twist to the tale as teammates went head to head. Lea Sophie Friedrich and Emma Hinzer were world champions in the team sprint as recently as October, but battled week in, week out in the Sprint League. Whilst in the men's competition, it was two Dutch friends battling for the Track Champions League trophy. It's easy for me because I, like, I won the Olympics, the, the, the World Championships. So I really have a lot of respect for Jeffrey. He could still yeah, be my friend and we can train together. Of course, we train for the team sprint and we are a team. I really feel like that. So that's a, a good thing for us both. At the last four major championships, these two Dutchmen have been on the top steps of the podium. Whilst Lavresen has consistently been the higher place of the two, both can see the advantages of training together. Yeah, training with each other every day is just, just, yeah, really nice and really lucky position to be in. And also we push each other to the next level every day. Not surprisingly, when they work together in the team event, the Dutch are nearly unbeatable and are current world and Olympic champions. Competing against each other in the Track Champions League, that alliance is something of a double-edged sword, though. It's hard because the sprint is like a really tactical game. I think I almost know what he will think, but I, he also knows I think that, so then it's a thinking game. I'm not sure if I'm at the moment on the right level to beat him, so I hope I can yeah, give some good finals with him, but I guess we'll have, we have to see. We don't really talk about the race tactics or what he can do better or what I can do better. I think it's, it's better to keep that separate. <laughs> Normally I see his interviews and I, I, I know he sees mine, so if I, if, I would, if I say something, he knows as well. A silent battle on race day, perhaps, but it's a relationship that drives performance at training. Every day is like a race because I, won't, I don't want to be slower than Jeff and then, yeah, just uh, go full gas every day. We've been a lot together on training camps. I think we also know we make each other better, so uh, maybe we wouldn't be the top of the world when we didn't train together. So I think uh, yeah, we're both happy to stay doing it. At the age of 24, Lavresen could dominate track sprinting for another decade. Both Sir Chris Hoy and Jason Kenny won Olympic golds well into their 30s. Hoagland is four years older than his fellow countrymen, so this is one rivalry that should light up the TCL for a good few years to come.